Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imona Project. We here at the Imona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, advice. And I was um, I was told by a very perceptive young lady, scolded, perhaps that's too harsh a word. But she says, you're always talking about these, these, these great luminaries, these sages, uh, the Ramchal, the Chofetz Chaim, the Vilna Gaon, Rashi, the Rambam, the Ramban, Ibn Ezra. But you never tell us who they are. What's their name? When did they live? What did they do? Why are they called the way they're, they're called? And she says, let us... Let us in on that. I mean, just a little tiny introduction, something. So I was suitably chastised. And uh, what I will do is every once in a while, I will do uh, an introduction to some of the gedolim, the, the, the great luminaries of uh, throughout Jewish history. And just give you a, just a tiny, tiny little bit of information. I'm not going to give up biographies, but just a little something. And um, I'm going to start with the Vilna Gaon. Uh, the Vilna Gaon lived from 1720 to 1797. His name was uh, Rabbi Eliyahu ben Rav Shlomo Zalman of Vilna. Gaon was a great, knowledgeable person. The Vilna Gaon, the Gaon from Vilna. Rabbi Eliyahu ben Rav Shlomo Zalman of Vilna. The Vilna Gaon would probably roll in his grave if he ever called me, call him, uh, uh, refer to him as a Rebbe, because the Vilna Gaon, for all his greatness, was an opponent to the Hasidic movement. He thought it was, he thought they had some, uh, some potentially dangerous ideas, and he spoke out uh, against the Hasidim. Uh, in the old days, there was quite a quite a, a dispute, quite a a fight between uh, the Misnagdim, the the opponents of Hasidim, and the Hasidim. And uh, it's not the big happy family we are now. It was quite rough in the old days, especially in the uh, in the 1700s when Hasidus was uh, starting up. Um, the Vilna Gaon was a Torah scholar of phenomenal genius. He mastered every facet of Torah knowledge. His commentaries and his insights have been published nearly on every on nearly every one of the important classical works. Um, he was a star. And I don't mean that in the, in the cheap modern sense. He was a shining star in his age and th ever since. People look to the Vilna Gaon for his wisdom, for his insights. Uh, it cannot be um, overstressed. So a bit of intro introduction to um, uh, Rabbi Eliyahu ben Rav Shlomo Zalman of Vilna the Vilna Gaon. We're going to be doing more uh, videos along these lines, a few more introductions along these lines. Please come back, please watch, please learn. And uh, until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.